Shalom, giving all praise and, and glory unto Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakadash, double honors the apostles, elders, and brothers on down at Great Millstone, where I learned the street from. Salutation to the hopefully like this is your brother Ay Banyamia here to share a lesson. I think I will call this one, you know, mental and spiritual decline amongst the people. Um, this is just a, a testimony of, you know, this whole week, you know, just seeing the craziness on the road. And, um, you know, since I'm a driver, that's where I would spend um, a lot of my working days, you know, on the road. So just a, a quick testimony of the things that I see in people, you know, while out and about, you know, at work or on the highways, you know. But uh, first I just want to share the script here. And wisdom and knowledge in Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and strength and salvation, the fear of the Lord is his treasure. You know, I've been seeing um, a lot of craziness on the road. You know, like on my way to work, <laughs> I've almost been hit numerous times. So now I'll be driving, you know, cruising speed. And you would have um, people doing 100, 120, you know, boom, you know, pass by me, you know. And I'm also been seeing uh, this one time I went to a store, um, I think it was a wow, I visited. And I heard this like loud bang, you know. A guy in a truck, he, uh, he hit the concrete barriers just in front of the store that you know, good thing the concrete barriers were there, you know, as the, the van would have came right into the store, you know. So th the minds of um of people, you know, is, is pretty much gone. But I want to share um the book of um, first, first Peter 5 and 8. <clears throat> First Peter five and eight. It says, "Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour." You know when that accident happened, when the guy um, in the truck at the barrier. You know after I paid for my stuff, I went out and I looked at the the driver, and he looked confused. You know as to what happened. He didn't seem, you know, drunk or anything, you know, but he looked, he looked at me like, you know, uh, you know, like what happened, you know what I mean? And the vehicle was so badly damaged, even the, the way he hit it, it, it looked like he hit it doing over a hundred miles an hour. But in that particular parking lot, you can't really do no more than 45 because of, you know, how the store is and stuff, where it's located. So there's a spirit out here of, um, you know, great um, destruction, you know. So, you know, we need to be sober, like it says in First Peter 5 and 8. You know, we need to be sober and, vi and vigilant, you know, because the devil has a roaring lion walking about, you know, seeking whom he may devour. So it's a destructive spirit out here. So, you, you know, we need to, <clears throat> so lucky, we need to be um, prayerful and vigilant. Especially, you know, before we leave um, the house to go anywhere, right? Another time, um, you know, I was walking on my way to my car and he had this guy, he was going into it with his, with his woman or whatever. And he was outside, um, you know, hollering and stuff and, you know, basically talking to himself. He had a gun in his hand, you know, and he was um, going on about, you know, if anybody said anything to him, you know what I mean? He's going to use that gun to blow, you know, people's brain out. You know what I mean? So there's a lot of sadness in in the society. You know, people don't want to work. And if you do work, you're not happy making the money that you're making. Why? Because of inflation. As soon as you get the money, you go to the groceries. The littlest thing that you buy costs $100. And if you're not making a lot of money, you know, you won't be uh, happy with that. And, you know, that veil, that illusion that people had, you know, when you change the bag or your work, you know, the success of women and, 
you know, the nice car that you drive will bring you happiness. But people have these things. They have the nice job, make any money, drive any nice car, have a beautiful woman on the arm, but they're not happy. You understand? Because they don't have the Holy the Holy Spirit upon them. And I want to share um, this scripture. I think it's in uh, 1 John. First uh, John 5 and 18. It says, We know that whosoever is born of the Most High sinneth not, but he that is begotten of God keepeth himself, and the wicked one toucheth him not. So these people that are talking to themselves, you know, running in to other cars or buildings, they are not, you know, aware of what is going on. Because of their sin, the wicked one touched them. But if we keep our we keep ourselves rooted and grounded in the Lord's commandments and teachings of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, the wicked one would not touch us. Even though there's a lot of crime going out, there's gunshots going out, man, you send up that prayer. And the Lord is going to have an angel of protection over you. While everyone is afraid to go outside there because of all the crimes being committed in the daytime or in the nighttime. Right? You send up that prayer, the Lord is going to give a spirit of uh, you know, confidence. You know, go thy way and you would be protected you know, in whatever um, endeavors that you, um, you know, you're about to be on, you know. And with that, I want to also visit um, the book of Peter, First Peter, <clears throat> five and uh, eight. It says, "Be sober, be vigilant, because the adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour." Please, a spirit out there, you know. Like I was saying, when the the guide or um, at the Wawa store hit the concrete barrier the parking lot is a low speed parking lot but the way he hit it the vehicle was so destroyed from front to side to back that it looked like he was doing 130 so whatever it is or that spirit that was out there it was a spirit of destruction you know so we need to be careful you know about what we do in our lives and you know what we entertain and who we entertain it, you know so that that mental and spiritual decline um, doesn't fall upon us, you know. So I'm going to touch on our next script here. It's in the book of Proverbs. <coughs> so, okay. <coughs> For Proverbs 4 and 23. It says, Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it, are issue are the issues of life. I said when he heart is your mind, right? Your lab. So you know, keep your mind, right? Whatever it is you know you're dealing with that may bring upon stress and anxiety. You know, the the bills are due, they're coming up, you know, talk to the Lord about it. You know, reach out to who you know you could reach out to in the spirit, you know, to get that help and assistance that you have. You know, so a lot of people is not um is not doing this. They are involved in the cares of this life, right? So the more they run after the the cares of this life, you you, you know is it, is it, defeating because the spirit of mood is not out there. The things that people enjoy that or thought that they would enjoy, that luster is no longer there. Wherefore. You know, like um, with the elect members or the hopefully elect, a simple walk in the park, you know, might be sufficient for them. You know, the Lord is going to give them their daily bread. You know, they're going to be fed and they're going to be clothed and they're going to be happy in the spirit. Why? Because they are seeking after the things of the Most High, you know. Um, next trip here, I want to read this in the book of um, Romans because pe people's mind is gone, man. People, mind is gone. I remember I left a, um, a customer and I was coming down the road. The road was like, 
It was a 45 mile per hour road and at the, at, at the light, there was a car parked there. The light was green, but there was a car parked there with the lights on. No hazards or anything. Because, you know, when somebody break down, you know, if you break down on, um, in the middle of the road, you would put your, your hazards on to let people know that something's wrong with the, with the vehicle or whatever so they could avoid it. So you had this car parked at the, at the light on a 45 mile power road, right? With the lights on, no warning lights flashing or anything like that. Like he just stopped there waiting for something. And when I came up on him, because I was getting ready to make a right turn at that particular light. And when I came up on him, I looked down in, in the vehicle and there was no one there, but his lights, the vehicle lights were on and everything, right? And probably about 10 minutes after going into the store when I went to get a, a cup of tea, I heard a loud bang. And the vehicle that came down that particular road behind him ran straight into the um, the back of that car. And that car, both cars were destroyed. The cops showed up and they came with like the brooms and all that where they, you know, they swept the, uh, the debris and stuff on the side of the road. And both cars were destroyed. So that spirit of um, destruction was out there that night. And messing with the minds of people, the same spirit was with that guy that ran into the concrete barriers in front of the, the Wawa store. And about half a block where that that car was parked at the light was another spirit there as well. So we need to guide our minds, man, um, for the times that we are living in a lot of spiritual attacks is going on. So I want to visit on the book of Romans. <clears throat> Chapter 8, 6. And I'm going to read down to uh, uh, 7, 6 and 7. So this is Romans 8, verse 6. For to be carnally minded is dead, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace because the carnal mind is, is is enmity against the most high for it is not subject to the law of god neither indeed can be so these people that are going out there they don't ponder you know about if they are going off in their day-to-day -day life the things that they think in their mind if it's evil the things that they say if it's evil you know they don't think about things that um, they can repent. They just going about doing their day to day, you know. Whether they they know the Lord or or not, they don't think about these things. So destruction is gonna come, you know, upon them unawares. So I wanna hit that um, also in the book of Luke. <clears throat> yeah, man, we living in, in in some crazy time, and this whole week was crazy. So that's uh, Luke 21 and uh, 34. Luke 21, 34, and we'll read to, uh, 36. So it says, And take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness and the cares of this life, and so that, and so that day come upon you unawares. For as a sneer shall it come on for as a sneer shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the earth. Watch ye therefore and pray always that he may be counted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. So there you go, brother. No, we can't be so involved with the cares of this life, you know, and the drunkenness and, and the surfacing that when these things come upon us, you know, they come upon us unaware, you know, because we, we ain't looking, we're supposed to watch, you know, keep watch, watch there for, you know, and pray because there's a lot of things going on out there, man. Uh, last scripture, I ain't going to keep it too long. I'm going to um, visit the Corinthians chapter 2. So, so like, yeah. Second Corinthians, um, verse, um, chapter ten, 
plus three. All right. And I read to six. So Second Corinthians ten plus three to six. Verse three. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God, Yahweh, to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations, and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of the Most High, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Hamashiach. Right? And having in a readiness to revenge all disobedience when your, di when your obedience is fulfilled. <clears throat> so whatever it is we do, you know, we need to repent, call upon the Lord. <coughs> so like, yeah, you know, seek forgiveness because we don't know when we leave our house, you know, what kind of things um, we're going to be seeing. People are driving crazy out there. The spirit of, um, you know, all that courtesy that was in society years ago, it's uh, quickly being stripped. You know, people are very um, provocative uh, on the road, you know. They will do something on the road and then speed up to run, you know, like a coward, you know. So we have to ask the Lord to keep our mind because I've seen when on the road when people provoke other people, you know, they would run after them to kind of like do something to them. You know, I understand, you know, you know, we may feel a kind of a certain kind of way when we get cut off or or whatever. But we need to pray for the mind that, you know, hey, the most I got them, whatever it is they do. Hey, the Lord got you, man. You know what I'm saying? Because if we become carnal, you know, we will be punished under that carnality. You know, the devil like that when we come out of the, the spirit, right? We you know, we do we will do something that is uh foolish and something that will get us into trouble that we would um regret, right? And while we are going through the regret, right, and you know, the emotions of the situation, that spirit is gone. On to the next, you know, to tempt and destroy somebody. So we need to be sober minded in these um last days. Cause it's gonna ramp up. It's gonna ramp up every day. So um, this is the video that I want to share. It is called um, "Mental and Spiritual Decline Amongst the People." This is your brother Rai Banyamian here to share this lesson. I give all praise and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai Bashem Mekhefadash. Double and see apostles, elders, and brothers on Dong at Great Mill, somewhere in the district, and salutations to the whole family. Shabbat Shalom.